Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and this video is about copy and swap idiom. This is really very famous idiom in C++. So this is about writing a correct assignment operator function. So this is the traditional way of writing assignment operator function, right? Like you will pass by const ref and then first you will check you're not assigning to yourself. If that is the case, then you just remove the previous data. I mean, delete the previous data and then allocate, allocate the memory and copy the previous data and stuff. Okay. So this is a very traditional way of doing it, but there are three problems here. First is let's say, okay, I'll write here. If you are doing, okay, let's say you are doing a is equal to B in that case, B is going to get assigned to a cool. But the point is B can be very big, like maybe few GB data and you don't have that much big RAM available. So in that case, you won't be able to initialize it properly. But to initialize that, you will have to come here. You will see this. Okay. I'm not assigning to myself. It's correct. It will go inside. It will delete the destination data first, meaning whatever A was holding that is deleted and B is not copied yet to B, but A have already lost the data. I mean, whatever A was holding that is gone. Now let's suppose you was at this stage and allocation was not done properly, meaning you could not allocate that much big memory. Now you have the problem that you have already deleted your data, but you could not copy the B's data into A. So this is a very big problem and we'll learn the solution of that problem only. Okay. So this itself is a problem. Like if, am I going to initialize to myself? I mean, 99% of the time you won't do that. Okay. But still this condition will execute all the time whenever you do the assignment operator call. And then this is the disaster in itself. So we know, yeah, there is a very big risk in executing this assignment operator. Okay. So this is always taught in the books and in colleges and everywhere that, I mean, when I learned about assignment operator for the first time, I was also told this is the right way to implement it. And you always had to remember that, okay, I'm not assigning to myself. So these are the primary things. If you will ask someone to write in the interview that, okay, write a assignment operator, you will check all these things that, okay, I'm not self assigning myself and stuff. So now I'm going to tell you that there is a better way to write the same thing. So this is the problem assignment operator. Now let's go to the solution of, uh, of assignment operator. So now if you see as this is a copy and swap Allison, so that's why it is called copy and swap. So there are two steps involved in this. First, it is going to do the copy and then it will do the swap. So that big function have now become a very small function. Now we are not receiving it as constant ref. Okay. So this is very important because you have to make a copy here itself. I told you, right? Okay. Let me just copy this and paste it here so that it'll be very easy for us to just refer that. I don't have to scroll again. again. Okay. So we had this problem that I was copying to the original, I mean, to the source location. Once I have already deleted the source location. Okay. Like a is equal to B A is delete it first and then you will go and initialize a from b here it is not like that here your a is always safe first you are making a copy of b because b is the right hand side data b is coming here and as this is copy by value you will have to make a copy so that copy is made here itself okay but not to a that's why we need a swap operation so that you can just simply swap it meaning just swap the pointers. It will not swap the entire array or anything like that. Okay. Otherwise this will become a very costly process. That's why it is swap. And as this is a user defined function, which is mostly the case because then only you will go for assignment operator overloading. Then in that case, you just give your own swap function like this and see we have integer data. I mean, integer pointer data, which is an array and the size is this one. So you just swap these two in the actual swap function of this buffer class and you're done. So now see, now you don't have any problem here. See, you are totally safe. Let's suppose this would have failed. I mean, you didn't have that much RAM available. 
then in that case this will fail it will say that okay i don't have i mean bad alloc so bad alloc was coming here after deleting your data i mean first deleting the a's data but here in this case it will come here itself now your original a is always safe you're not deleting your data and once everything is available like you can actually do the copy and stuff then you just swap it and it is fairly simple to understand this idiom now you know what is the better way of writing this function so next time if you write the assignment operator in your interview you should not write like this you should write actually like this and give a swap function and you should explain to your interview that this comes under copy and swap idiom so i think we're done here thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care